Hey, this is Anthony Thrupp. Come on, decide and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Alpine Stars SMX2 Air Carbon V2 glove available at Revzilla.com. The SMX2 Air Carbon. This glove has been around since 2005. This is the new for Spring 17 V2 version. Now, what I like is that Alpine Stars has started versioning, so it's easier to keep track of iterations and model years, but this is the fifth iteration of this glove, and I will tell you, the version that came out a couple years ago, which I have right there that I'm angrily pointing at, I was not that big of a fan of, but the new version for 17 is a nice improvement on all the things that we thought were slight misses or just lukewarm um from before. Now keep in mind, this is a short cuff, sport oriented, sub $80 glove meant for two season hot weather riding. So think, ladder spring, all summer, early fall, a lot of ventilation, carbon knuckle, again, sport aggressive, a ton of colors available in this bad boy. But now let's dive really into the changes which take it from a lukewarm in the previous model into the next generation, which is going to be one of our favorite gloves that they've re-released for 2017. The first thing you're gonna notice is the knuckle has changed. Instead of on a floating panel, it's gonna be seated within the glove on top of a layer of foam. Now, typically we like to see the floating panels, but on the previous version, it wasn't as comfortable and it didn't fit as well compared to this one. So ultimately, we're big fans of the direction moving forward. They got the sizing right and the fit scheme right. That's secondarily the other thing I'm going to talk about here, which is really gonna be this fit. I'm gonna do a little out of order. The previous version, I typically wear an extra large in all Alpine Stars gloves. I was wearing a 2XL in the previous version, I actually had to go up a full size. In this version, I'm back to an XL. I wear an XL in the SMX2 Air Carbon for 2017 and all of the other Alpine Stars, which are decidedly Euro. And think about it this way, in American Cut Gloves, I'm typically a large. So again, stop worrying about consistency and fit. Alpine Stars is going to have a classic Alpine Stars fit on this. The other thing I really like and the other big takeaway to call out for big changes before I get into the, really the nuance of the glove is going to be the palm. The previous palm was all Clarino, all synthetic suede. In my opinion, that is more of an entry level material when you see it making up the palm. Now, if we look at the new version, which is on my left hand, you're still going to see it's a lot of panels, but now you have goat skin in the fingers, in the thumb, in the main con con connection area. You do have reinforced Clarino in multiple layers. If you want full leather in the palm, double reinforced, go up to something like the SPX. But if we look at it, this palm is dramatically better than this palm. Again, leaps and bounds forward. You can also see the change here in the tab for the closure at the wrist is a very positive pull here with a TPR versus just a little bit more of a flimsier tab. So again, I hate that I'm just like hammering on the SMX2 Air Carbon, where when it came out, we were like, we liked it, but we changed a few things. But after seeing this new version, we're completely, completely disenfranchised with the old version because the new version is just that that much better integrating leather mesh as well as leather in the palm for a much more protective option sub $100 really sub $80 so SMX2 Air Carbon previous version goodbye SMX2 Air Carbon V2 new for the spring of 17 hello now let's dive back into the fitment here we talked briefly about the fit and you could see a lot of flex here a lot of a lot of mesh again stretch panels in between the fingers it's going to be a sport fit with a light pre-curve I already talked to you about the fact that I'm wearing a size XL that is my classic size in Alpine Stars so consistent so don't worry about it. Use a size chart. And remember, we're going to ship for free over 39 bucks. I'd also love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback, or flat out scream at me if you love the old version compared to the new version. But then I would just get in the comments and I would tell you that you're wrong. Yep, you'd be wrong. So moving back into the glove itself, let's look at some of the other nuance that brings it together. Back of the hand, it's going to be mesh, great airflow, nice raised TPR. You can see the TPR from the connector here at the cuff on the medial side wraps all the way around, restyled, it just works well. We talked about the carbon fiber knuckle molded sitting on top of a seating of foam here. Very, very comfortable ergonomic. I'm beating it to death, but it made a big, big difference in the fit scheme on top of the hand. Now, moving into the glove itself along the fingers, you're gonna see, Vented TPRs mid-digitally. You do have middle knuckle elastication, and then you have some more. You have some more mesh as you work your way into the tips of the fingers. Now, I will say this. I would love it to see the next iteration of this glove get capped fingers where it comes around so that ends and the ends and the tips of the mesh where sometimes they might integrate with Velcro and they might start to pull. Over time, they'll be a little bit more durable, but I'm nitpicking a little. As we work our way into the index finger, that is a touch tech finger just on the index. I really don't care that I don't have it on the thumb because ultimately you're still in a sub $80 glove. But again, multi-touch device, Android, iPhone device, that's a nice touch. And then we've talked a little bit ad nauseum about the palm here. Reinforcement on, on the control patch. You're getting full leather here in the tips of the 
fingers. And you do have that stretch panel that Alpine Stars is basically adding to everything. It's out of harm's way, but it gives you more mobility in the thumb. That is a functional innovation as we think about fitment moving forward. Now, you do have your Alpine Stars logo in silicon on the heel of the hand. Light reinforcement, dually stitched for a little bit of style here. On the heel of the hand, it'll absorb some vibration dampening. I love this glove from an everyday sport commuting hot weather standpoint. And you do have a capturing of the out seam here done in Clarino. If you want it in leather, you have to step up. But again, for under $80, tremendous amount of glove. Alpine Stars is absolutely listing, iterating, and they're not resting on their laurels where they looked at the last version of the SMX2 Air Carbon. They said it's got to get better, and they certainly did that on this version. Remember, a ton of colors including the classic fluoro red and yellow. I call it lovingly hot dog and mustard. But the next step in your journey is to click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at RevZol.com. Read other rider reviews on the new SMX2 Air Carbon V2, the deuce. Again, keep in mind as well, we're going to ship free over 38 bucks. And you want to talk to Gear Geek CS at RevZol.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember to subscribe to us at RevZol on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion and some bad jokes on the latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.